what's up youtube it's your girl tag game with another video and today we're gonna be talking about yeah they used to call me gay all the time but before we get into this video y'all y'all like subscribe to my channel and if you new here what's up what's going on okay y'all so y'all always see me with my puffs and all that i want to do something different with my hair today uh something simple i just threw something in here nothing too fancy and i just thought it was real creative i kind of got the idea from pinterest or whatever and i really like my little curls at the ends y'all can follow my hair page at the supreme effect okay but anywho let's get into this video okay so um growing up uh i did i did a video y'all uh about when i said i was molested okay i deleted the video okay because of my own insecurities it's not because i was lying it was not because you know i was trying to like uh throw slick shots so i was trying to like expose on some but real 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 shit like um it was because of my own insecurities because when you go through trauma like that and certain trauma it's hard for you to open up about certain stuff because it brings shame you know what i'm saying it brings uh you know shame and insecurities and all that so anywho my my family i'm just being real okay like <laughs> it's it's just real man it's just real uh my family used to judge me a lot because they used to think i was gay um i used to get bullied a lot because a lot of people used to think i was gay um i remember i was in high school and this is not every family member let me like, oh i had to stop i had to throw that disclaimer in there this is not every family member but for the family member that used to ask me these questions okay and it was more than one it was a plethora of y'all but if it but if it's not if you never came at me that way then i'm not talking about you but uh this is just my life man this is just real and i used to struggle with this because i used to think that i was the only one dealing with it and i'm like why does this keep happening to me why do these things keep approaching me and you know all that stuff so like I said, I remember I was like 18 years old and my hair was so damaged, y'all. My hair was so damaged to the point where I think I had did like a hot comb and then I stopped getting a hot comb and then I went to a perm and my hair just fried. Like my hair just fried all the way out. So I eventually cut it off. Had my uncle, he cut hair and stuff. Had my uncle come over there, shake me up and all that good stuff. Had it bleached blonde and all that. And around that time, back in 2011, 2012, short hairstyles on women was a trend that was sexy so i can wear short hair long hair big hair i can wear it all baby it it fits my face you know and so the first thing that people said was oh you must be gay because you cut your hair oh yeah people back in my hometown never seen me with a woman okay um but people have tried to paint that narrative on me when i didn't push up on them uh and all that good stuff and so for the longest time they used to recruit other family members to go against me oh yeah your cousin gay oh yeah bro she cut her hair you know woo -woo. so everybody that went to school with me they knew that era where i cut my hair to the point where they used to start calling me i'll go everything because i had bleached it like a blonde gold color or whatever and it was really cute you know what i'm saying i had got a lot of compliments for the from the older guys that really adored my haircut but you know for the young ignorant motherfuckers you know they yeah 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 you must be this you must be that and that's the narrative that they wanted to paint negatively on me anyway okay so proceed on and all do i have been with a woman though you know what i'm saying uh i could be real about it um i'm not confused with my sexuality um I do struggle. I won't say I struggle with it because here's, here's the thing. Flesh and lust and sex go hand in hand. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, I kid you not. I can remember times where 
I could just like be in a grocery store or something. Or I have a girl I meet at work. Or I have a girl I just meet somewhere and we become cool. But behind that, she want to, you know what I'm saying? She want to do stuff with me. And I'm like, yo, I ain't, I ain't on this stuff. You know what I'm saying? So then, you know, they get mad and, you know, some of them do, not all of them. But, you know, some of them will get mad and say I'm fake and say I'm the weird one. They don't want to fuck with me no more and because I'm this. But behind that, bitch, you tried me on that whole shit and you got mad because I wouldn't let you hunch me. And that's just what it is. You know what I'm saying? Um, and you probably say, okay, so where did it come from? I was molested by a girl too when I was younger. Um, a lot of females don't want to talk about that just like men. Um, we was groomed by our cousins, our aunties, our uncles, the babysitters. It goes on in real life, okay? Um, and, and molestation doesn't always have to be physical touch. It could be a gesture. It could be pictures. It could be magazines. It could be certain sayings. It could be even looks, okay? Um, so yeah, any type of uh, sexual abuse, okay? So yeah, and I could just remember, <laughs> I could just like remember my cousin like stripping for me. Um, I could remember what we had on and everything like vividly. I could remember this scene. This this I could remember this so well. Um. And this is not to get clout. A lot of people think it's, oh, I'll tell you, why you waiting so long to tell this? Because, man, this is what been broken in me. I'm broken. I'm fucked up. Like, I got sense. You feel me? Like, you know, I'm smart. I got shit going. I got motion. You know, but, man, I need healing, too. You know what I'm saying? Y'all some fucked up folks. And then y'all try to make it seem like I'm the bad person. You feel me? I carry other people's burdens and other people's insecurities onto me that I never even had in the beginning. And so it creates a false sense of identity about yourself because you start to fucking believe everything somebody tell you what you is and stuff like that. You feel me? Dealing with the narcissistic abuse, all that growing up. So I didn't realize that up until now. Okay. And uh, some of them know I know because uh, I see them and they're toot their nose up or they'll look the other way or you know sometimes that spirit know you know and sometimes i don't care i'm gonna let you know that night sometimes i don't care you know i i don't care i don't care what you sometimes like when people be like oh i know this i know that i be like shit i don't care what you know uh what starlito said when you keep it real with yourself they can't expose you can't nothing you can say about my can't nothing you can say I ain't nothing you can say. I already don't know about myself. You feel me? Um, so, yeah. I can remember times where um, I'm going over to a homegirl house, sleepovers. You know, the typical stuff that goes on over there. Um, and, and, you know, <laughs> let me tell you how sometimes it used to be real talk. And uh, it don't get talked about, but I'm going to talk about it today. Uh, sometimes, you know how... Like you be at school and y'all playing like dodgeball or whatever and y'all got to pick the person y'all want on y'all team and the ones y'all don't want I always be the last one or whatever. So it, that's how it used to be when 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 uh like certain people when you spend a night at certain females' house and stuff like that and y'all wanna play mama, y'all wanna play daddy, I wanna play house and all that stuff. Oh, we wanna pick her because Whatever, whatever reason why they want to pick you. You know what I'm saying? You don't know why they want to pick you. You just know they picked you. Okay? Um, it used to go down with stuff like that. Uh, man, I can get so deep in this stuff. A lot of these females done had at least one sexual experience with a female. Like, it's so many homegirls I had back home that done been with a female road. And some of some of these females haven't been molested, okay? So let's 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 just you know nip that in the bud. Every time somebody is liking the same sex or lusting after the same sex, it doesn't necessarily mean that they've been molested or somebody touched them, okay? Um, 
I feel like certain spirits or certain demons are assigned to you even as a child and you don't even know. So yeah, demons and spirits can be assigned to children at a young age, okay? It starts when they live. It starts when they smile. But yeah, and um, the older I got, <laughs> the more I had more women approach me. Um, and I'm just like, I don't even have, cause, uh, listen, because my thing is this, it's like, okay, you just had that one sexual experience with a female, okay, you didn't like it, or you tried it out, or whatever, whatever, woo -woo, and you going on about your business, but a lot of times, some of y'all would try to, like, if a, if a female had that one experience, or whatever, y'all would try to not see them outside of that, oh, yeah, you gay, I'm gonna see, I, yep, I'm gonna, I'm gonna view you just like this, this is how I'ma view you from now on. <laughs> Bitch, you need to stop lying. You know you like girls, da 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 da, da. <laughs> I kid you not, man. I don't have white and black white and black women try try me. It be so funny though. Cause I'd be like, yo, what in the world? You think cause I'm tall and I'm, you know, I'm a plus size girl. These girls be skinny. And so I be thinking like, you know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> And, I, and like I say, I don't know if it just be that spirit, that lust, or you carry, or whatever, or that spirit that just on you, um, even though you don't react on it in real life, you still carry that spirit, if that makes sense. You get what I'm saying? So, yeah. Uh, yeah, I've, I've had women try me. I've had women from the church try me, too. <laughs> That's another story for another day. But, um, yeah. And it's sad that um, some people that I knew that was close to me, that I was cool with, that were questioning me about my sexuality, when I used to hear the same shit about them, I used to hear about them being gay. I used to hear about them uh, selling their tail and, 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 and all that. And even... <laughs> I ain't going to bust everything out, but uh, I knew some stuff was, was deemed to be facts. This was not something I've heard. This is something that I've known to be facts. And they would judge me and project their insecurities onto me, look down on me and make it seem like, ah, oh, well, you this and you that. Or they would already create something in their head, okay? Oh, well, yeah, tell you been talking about me. Bitch, I ain't said shit about you. I'm just looking at you crazy because we really know what's up for real. But you finna go ahead and try to like knock me off because you really don't want to feel bad about the fuck shit you really did. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. <laughs> but I'm always the crazy one, man. I'm always the crazy one, boy. That shit so, whew, boy. Yeah, it's hurt. It's hurt. And so I learned that I couldn't not react to everything oh baby oh i had to ooh, i had to defend myself bitch what you said about me bitch why you lying on me why you telling me lies on me oh i had to defend myself i could not let you just lie on me like this folks used to talk about me having diseases and i knew they used to have diseases too but that's another story for another day oh yeah they used to clown me with that oh tay i heard I know you ain't talking. I heard. I know about you too. I know who you got it from. But they don't want to talk about that. They want to paint me to be the They want to paint me to be the disgusting one. The nasty one. Oh, sexual immorality. She's so lustful. She's disgusting. She's nasty. Don't nobody want her. That's what y'all do, men and women. Both y'all, both y'all do it. You bitches ain't shit either. I know I get on here and I talk about a lot of these niggas and how dirty they is, but you bitches can be just as trifling. You bitches can be just as wicked. Y'all will sit right up on her bitch nose and don't even like her, but I copy every personality trait she got and then I turn around and make it seem like she the one copying you. Jealous spirit, don't want to see your homegirl get some, but ooh, baby, yeah, it's real though. 
But this just part of me. This is what I struggle with, man. This just real. I just want to talk about my life with y'all, man. This is the shit I deal with every day. You know what I'm saying? And I and I try to. I gotta block that shit out. I gotta ignore that shit every day. But sometimes it's hard. I ain't gonna lie, man. Sometimes it's hard. I fall short. Depending on what you say to me, depending on what you do, I be snapping. I be going out. But that's the reaction. That's the reaction people want. You know what I'm saying? That's what they want you to do. Because they see your gifts. They see your talents. They see your shine. They see your character traits. They see the good shit. They know you solid. They know you loyal. They know you a good friend. Man, look, man. I ain't perfect. I ain't, I ain't saying I always been a perfect friend. But guess what? The females that was around me and that been around me, they know I was a good friend to them. Real shit. And um, I had to separate myself from a lot of that stuff, man. Because, like I said... You know, with that gay shit, people try to paint that shit on you like you just be on that shit. But these be, but these, these females that done, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like this one chick back home, I'm going to go ahead and be real about it. Cause she going to, they going to be like, well, Tay, remember that one time, man, I ain't even had a crush on the girl. I think I was on some like. Set up shit. I don't know what the fuck I was on. I, I, all I know the girl, the girl used to bully me real bad, and I think the only way I could get back at her was to play like I wanted to talk to her, right? I think that, I, and I was probably like maybe in the eighth, ninth grade or whatever. You feel me? So, uh, like I said, it's a transparent moment. So, I think that's one of you know one of the things that happened. But why the heck did I do that? Well, she went around telling everybody that I'm gay. Everybody knew she was gay, though. You know what I'm saying? Everybody knew she liked it, girls and boys or whatever. And we was young. You hear me? We like 14, 15 years old. And, and I hung around females that like female uh, women at that time and doing stuff at that time. And doing things with women at that time. The shit real. It goes on, man. And so... Um, I really hate I did that shit because she drugged my ass and she drugged my name. But it was it was more so of me trying to get back at her because the way she used to bully me so bad. And I know that wasn't really a good idea, but that was just a thought process that I had. And I know y'all probably said, Tay, that sound like some bullshit, but it is some bullshit, but it's real though. You know what I'm saying? It's 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 really real. It's really real life. Um and so I think that that's kind of like part of um, I think that's kind of like part of how the little gay situation kind of like spread it uh, and all that you know um, I don't see females that try to push up on me they gotta they gotta do they got like three four kids and I'm like why everybody you wanna damn what the 